I never know how a song's going to sound, how long it's going to be, how how it's going to affect the listeners, or how much work I'll put into this. And that was no different with a shame, but I feel like I I didn't write the song, if that makes any sense. When I write the lyrics to a song, it's never going to be me writing a song. It's going to be my subconscious writing a song. Because that's the only way that I can put my whole emotion and all of my deepest thoughts into a song and out into the world. A shame isn't about one thing, but it also is about one thing. It's it's about one specific thing, but with a whole lot of things that make it a whole different. It's about friends, it's about relationships, it's about trying to move on, it's about death. A person that you were in a relationship who's already moved on and you're trying to think why why did she, she or he have to move on so quickly. I try to make my songs very broad so you can relate to my songs. When I when you hear one of my songs I always try to make you and the listeners or the audience try and understand and relate to the lyrics. That's why they're always so broad and you can't put it on one specific thing. That's why I hate saying that this is why I wrote the song, this is what it's about. Because one, it's not just about me. In the bridge where it says It's um, and then it goes into a huge panic of um, electric guitar and drums and bass and it's all this other stuff. You're trying to represent um, a panic attack. It's trying to represent everything that's ever happened, <laughs> ever in a life. In your life, you can always say, everyone can say that there's a high point and a low point to life. And it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. It never stays the same. I'm trying to represent what goes in everyone's life. I'm trying to connect with everyone. That's all that I want to do ever in my songs. I want you to find a place in my music. When I finally release the song or an album or an EP, I always re-listen to that song, try and figure out what I'm saying because I, I never know what I mean. When I write lyrics, I can't, I don't have control over what happens. My subconscious takes over basically. Just it, it, because that's where my emotions are. That's where my, my thoughts are. Like for example, um, when I say, like at the start, you can hear me say, there's no light at the end of the tunnel, but I'll be waiting there for you, my love. That represents um, a friendship, trying to, a, a friend is, a good friend is always there for you, even though you might be at your worst or you can't go on any longer. We all know that there's not always going to be good things that's going to happen to you every second of your life. But there's a saying, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And 
there might not be. Like, who's to say what's gonna happen? Nothing is for certain. But as long as you have good friends, it doesn't really matter. I'm trying to say your friends are the light. Your friends are always gonna be there for you. At the end of the day, they're the ones who's gonna make it better.